Hey, everybody, Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the John Walter Studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if, uh, if you haven't done so already. Check out our websites for further looks at uh, all of these games and every other game on the schedule today over at winnersandwiners.com. Statsalt.com sides, totals, derivatives, halftime bets, and proposition bets. It's all there at those two websites. And of course, leave me your notes. Let me know what you're playing today. Let me know if you're tailing or fading, and uh, what you've uh, what you've conjured up on your own there, uh, soldier. And give us uh, give us some ideas about uh, about what you're on here as far as uh, today's basketball contests go. All right, so uh, there we go. Another uh, another fantastic day. Um, by the way, I had, uh, I had a lot of uh, good feedback on uh, yesterday's video, and I had a lot of thumbs down. So uh, a lot of people that don't normally uh, voice an opinion, uh, well, some actually said they dug it, and uh, some uh, did, uh, they voted with their uh, inverted thumbs. So uh, needless to say, we probably won't be doing any more handicapping videos soon, uh, making picks based on... Uh, how I feel about their mascots. And for God's sakes, I know I have people tailing me today. I'm hoping and praying that before you decided to tail my picks, you did a little research on your own and figured out reasons uh, independently of whether somebody had a musket or not about whether you liked that team. So, um, you know, it's, as I, any I put out serious picks and tell you guys to do your own research, but my God, please, it's a, it's a, it's a Willie the Wildcat head in a box. That's why that's why I faded him. That was that was no reason. So, um, and of course, uh, I had about the same amount of luck that I had with those as I did with my other picks. So, good times. Yeah, like I said, the only the only game I really looked seriously at that was the uh, was the Virginia game, and uh, that ended up being right on both of those numbers. I ended up winning by six and hitting one twenty two, and that uh, that under uh, plummeted all day long until it was down to. God, even 117 at some shops, and uh, so there was absolutely no value there, man. Once that once that once that went south of 122, uh, I had no no desire to play that under, and yeah, up in the five six range, didn't love the spread. So, and that's that's that was our only game that we were on. Uh, the K State game, like I said, I just I had no no confidence in uh, in K State. I had my I had my inside I had my inside info guys at uh, K State. Everybody told me Wade was not going to play tonight, and of course Wade played. Uh, he's definitely not 100. percent I'd say he's about he's about 60, percent but he's out there for floor leadership. Uh, hit just enough shots today to uh, to get it done. It was nice that K State basically could not miss a three pointers today. Uh, all the guys that we needed uh, last Saturday to make a few baskets just uh, didn't show up Saturday. All showed up tonight. So, anywho, that was uh, that was the K State game. And uh, what else? Oh, TCU, they lost outright to Oklahoma State. I was worried about that one. Uh, Idaho, um, the Johnny Appleseeds, uh, they took care of business there against the Vandals. And what else did we have? We had, we had another one that we, uh, that we did not win. So that was a... Is that, you know, we had, we, no, that was... <laughs> boy, that is true, true mark of a handicap. I don't remember which one. Uh, it was the one we won, and I don't remember which one it was. Good times. All right, I'll remember when we get to shout outs. So, anyway, let's uh, let's get to it. Back to the back to the serious capping, and uh, we're gonna kick off with uh, with what has been a pretty good uh, pretty good pick for us lately. It's the Akron Zips against the uh, against Bowling Green, and uh, uh, as always, we're taking a look at the first half under. Guys, I'm I've got to tell you, I'm getting worried about this. Uh, this uh, number currently sits at 135 and a half for the total. Uh, I think it was 136, 138 last time, depending on where it was, and they would they bust us down to 63 and a half. I don't know how late, I don't know how low they're going to bust us here. I'm going to guess. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can get it at 63 because I, I think they're figuring this out, and uh, we're getting close. We're getting close to buying low on this bet, but we're going to try to milk it. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to milk it one more time. And uh, Bowling Green, they put up some points, but we're counting on Akron to uh, zip them shut for at least the first half. So uh, I'm really curious to see what this one goes off at as far as the first half total goes. And, you know, I got to tell you guys, if it gets down, if it gets down to 62 or below, 
I almost got to wave it off. Uh, that's that's getting uh, that's getting ridiculous. So uh, we shall see what ha- we shall see what happens. Um, it's uh, you know going to the well one more time, and I know we certainly are thirsty. So uh, all right, moving on to the Big Twelve. Let's take a look at the Baylor Bears uh, taking on the Iowa State uh, Cyclones. Uh, Cyclones minus eight and a half. Uh, I like them right here in a uh, in a revenge spot. Baylor has been seriously bitten by the injury bug. Leading scorer, uh, Makai Mason, has missed two of the last four games. And in the two games that he did play, he just wasn't right. He's nursing a bad toe. And he's gone just three for 21 from the field in the two games that he did play. Uh, King McClure, uh, he's missed the last three. And over that three-game period, that, that, that three game period uh, the Bears have averaged just 59 points. Of course, two of those games, uh, Mason did not play as well. Uh, like I mentioned, Cyclones have revenge on their mind right here. Uh, they're playing good. They look good against K-State. And I think they're uh, I think they're ready to take care of business as they head towards the postseason. Uh, give me Iowa State right here taking care of business against the Baylor Bears. Minus 8.5. By the way, uh, if you go back and look at Baylor, a lot, of the, a lot of the hay that they made, a lot of the noise that they made here uh, a few games ago was against kind of the dregs. It was against TCU. It was against Oklahoma State. Um, so now they're... Uh, Starting to play some of the big boy teams, and it's uh, it's not going well. It's badly timed with their injuries. So yeah, give me give me the Cyclones right here, and we're finishing off with the Battle of the Rams. It's Ram versus Ram. Two Rams enter, one Ram leaves. Uh, the Rhode Island Rams take on the VCU Rams. Really, this it's the one conference they couldn't come up with a different name. Anyway, I digress. Uh, this is another team that I'm looking for uh, to take care of business. It's tied for uh, the conference lead and looking to take care of business in a revenge spot at home. Uh, you know, Rhode Island stunned VCU back on uh, back on January 9th. Since then, uh, Rhode Island has lost and failed to cover in five of their six games. Meanwhile, VCU has been a perfect 6-0, straight and up, straight up and against the spread since then. I like VCU to keep their momentum going. Another team looking ahead at the postseason, and they are currently tied for the lead, and they can uh, afford... No losses, and for, and don't forget, style points count. So they have the uh, they have the incentive to keep their foot on the gas, and I think they do just that here. Give me VCU minus nine. Give me Iowa State minus eight and a half, and give us our Bowling Green Akron under first half. Hopefully, uh, sixty three or more in that one. Join me on these games, guys. At the end of the day, you can grab your tickets, and we'll head back to the window. All right, let's uh, let's do some shout-outs. We've got uh, we've got some substantially uh, we've got some substantial shout-outs tonight. Um, all right, Derek Young, starting off with the this, this is the greatest thing about having like 2,500, 3,500 people that watch the videos every day. Somebody knows the answer to my all my inane questions that I'm too lazy to look up. Case in point, Derek Young in 1987 or oh, 1887, the Horn Frogs were chosen over the Cactus. The name from what we called horny toads growing up in in, in Texas. He says, "Yeehaw, let's go five and zero. Oh. Yeehaw, we did not. But uh, thanks for the info, Derek. And uh, hopefully you had some other plays to help uh, help that out. Uh, Hammer and Hank. He's uh, he's on the Illini plus what? He's not. A, he's on the Illini plus ten. Except they played tonight, not last night. So." Good luck on that one, Hank. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. I got all my Iowa schools confused. My bad. My bad. Uh, the Illini uh, took care of business there against Wisconsin. Um, nice job, Hank. Very good play. I, uh, I I wasn't a big believer in Wisconsin, but I didn't. Uh, I, I just I didn't have the confidence in the Illini. And uh, he had Virginia minus five. No sweat, buddy. No sweat at all. Thomas M. He had uh, also had Illinois plus ten, and he had the Cavs. Minus six, and it was all about when you got it, man. That was a weird ass line. Um, it opened, it opened in Vegas at most places. It opened at four, even four and a half in some shops. But online, uh, it popped at three and a half. And man, I mean, to the, the the sharps got on that thing immediately, and it uh, it pounded. In fact, it was uh, uh, this morning uh, for about an hour and a half. If you were on it and had the right place. You could have got uh, six and a half. It didn't last long, but it was out there, and then it popped down uh, all the way back down to five, five and a half. So, um, yeah, good job, anybody that got six or better on that one. Uh, Legion to pick had uh, Virginia first half minus two and a half. That came in. 
Scotty C had the Cowboys, nice pick there, Virginia minus five, and the Illini, Christopher W., had uh, the Illinois under and uh, Illinois against the spread. Two good plays there. Eric T. Uh, decided to play Manhattan under. Man. Uh, well, Man U. Man U. Manhattan under. <laughs> Man U under a uh, half a goal from the 80-minute mark. And he hit it. Nice job. A little in-game uh, footy action there. Uh, he hit that. So my losing so my losing 14 parlay is pretty much a push. Uh, yeah, you gotta pay, got to pay for the parlay habit somehow, brother. Uh, the astute aardvark, he had the TCU under. Arkansas Pine Bluff, getting the grubs, getting those grubs. Uh, minus eight and a half, that came in. And he had the K-State under. Uh, that one hit as well. Felix uh, had the Virginia half and the game over 121. Uh, that came in, yes. Um, 122, yeah, no sweat, Felix. Uh, Cole B, uh, he tailed me on all of them, and he said he's on vacation. Anyway, I know he's down in... Uh, down in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, hopefully he has some margaritas and he can also forget about this day. Um, Dustin, he's uh, he tailed us as well. Uh, better days ahead, Dustin. I don't always handicap uh, uh, with using the mascot, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping for better results today. Uh, Borno uh, said he under might be the play. I don't know if he ended up taking it, but knowing Borno, I bet he did. Uh, uh, HT Bud said to heck with it. I bet them all. Maybe uh, one or too many HT buds there. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Buster H, he had uh, Illinois, and uh, he mentioned that he's a Badger fan, but he's a realist. He said, I think you're right. It would be closer than 11.5. Um, yeah, not exactly the best logic. Oh, that was, yeah, not exactly the best logic that we laid out for that play. By the way, that was the game we won. Uh, we did <laughs> hit Illinois. Um, uh, just remembering my stuff. Okay, uh, Wisconsin uh, does not blow out teams. No, they do not, and they did not. Uh, good take there, Buster. Uh, Cody L., he had Man U in a three-way side on the money line, and that cashed. A lot of soccer guys out there. Very nice. Um, he had the uh, Tampa Bay money line, Calgary money line. He had the under on TCU, the uh, Illini under, Arkansas Pine Bluff as well. Virginia minus five. Push, uh, he, got, he, got that one, uh, he got that one in. And Virginia uh, minus one in a teaser with Arkansas Pine Bluff minus three and a half. Uh, hit that one as well. He had the uh, West Virginia K-State under 132. And, uh, oh, he wanted to say that... <laughs> what a great story. Okay, he dated a girl from West Virginia. He says, her sister shot me with a 22 through the hip and out my ass cheek. So it's a through and through with a 22. Nice job there for starters. And uh, the funniest part of the story, never told me why she did it. Um, it's just, it's a West Virginia thing. It's... Why'd you shoot me? Why not? You were in my way. Uh, by the way, he said a horned frog is actually a horned desert toad, which really isn't a frog, but a lizard or some crap. He was doing such a great job of making a great explanation that he says, but a lizard or some crap. I don't know. It's been the Geico guy. Uh, Dr. Ron tailed us. Uh, Dr. Ron, uh, come, come back. Please come back. I uh, hope you're back today and uh, getting some good pictures to have with us. Uh, Legendary King. He said, even though he said he was taking a break, he did bet $5 on the San Diego Fleet last night versus the Atlanta Legends. God help me, I looked at the Fleet. I just, I, I didn't quite play them. They were, I know they were minus nine, and I thought about it. Uh, he, so he is 1-0 and in the AAF right now, and he's just now back to his break. All right, LK. Okay, very good. Oh, and I wanted to say a quick word about the, about the AAF. I put the other one out the other night. I would have to call that a semi-serious pick. Um, you guys know me. We talk. You knew you knew I didn't have a hundred percent stone cold lock after one game. Um, I put I put it out there for informational purposes only, just so we can all watch it and have a little action. Um, please judge accordingly um, with the, the the quality of the picks that I'm putting I'm putting out. If I'm putting out a game in the second week of the uh, uh, the AAF, just uh, take it a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle, a little susan of action instead of jumping in with both feet, all right? That's, uh, that's Scotty's unwanted tip for the day. All right, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for the comments. Thanks for all the great, thanks for all the great feedback about the, uh, about the comedy video as well. That was a, I, I did get a lot of great feedback, and I appreciate it, because I, and I saw all those thumbs down, like, holy shit, people are going to be just banging on me in the comment section. But everybody in the comment section was very cool. Uh, but they certainly weren't cool with their thumbs. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. I'll uh, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good luck tonight, man.